Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, you know, I'm going to bring this story because a lot of people got mad at Scottie Pippen because he thought that uh, Phil Jackson was an undercover racist. He said a lot of questionable stuff. Um, and everybody gives him a pass because he's the great Phil Jackson, right? And usually it's always the ones who are overly religious as kids. Uh, he grew up in a Pentecostal church, um, so he's probably one of those uh, evangelicals. And now his true colors is coming out. But Scottie Pippen tried to warn everybody. And a lot of people gave him flat because, see, him being from the deep south, like Arkansas, he wasn't having it. And he'd probably seen that behavior time and time and time again. Okay? He rubbed LeBron James wrong because why LeBron James ain't from the deep south, he's from a racist state like most of these states in these states are. I don't even want to call them united because ain't nothing united about it. So on the Telegram with Ruben, Rick Rubin podcast, Phil Jackson was asked whether he's been watching a good amount of basketball since his retirement in 2011. He said, no, I don't. Jackson said he stopped watching a lot of games after the uh, bubble in Orlando in which uh, was created in order to finish the 2019-2020 season because of the COVID pandemic, right? Um, they went into the lockout year and they did something that was kind of wonky. They did a bubble down in Orlando and all the teams could qualify down there and just Stayed down there, he continued. And they had things on their backs like justice. I made a little I made a little funny thing like justice went to the basket and equal opportunity just knocked him down. So my grandkids thought that was pretty funny to play up those names. So I couldn't watch. You know, let me tell you something, dude. Your, your high ass. Um, ain't nothing funny about our oppression. And ain't nothing funny about our lack of justice. And you know what? I'm glad that your true colors are coming out. And just like Jalen Rose said, when people show you who they are, believe them. And I believe that Phil Jackson is a, is a jealous of a lot of black athletes because, you know, he's one of them 60 players. He played for the Knicks in the, what, six, 70s? the late 60s, early 70s. So although he might have smoked a lot of pot and was a hippie, a lot of those guys, when they get older, they just cut their hair and go back to um, being supremacist because he's got money now and he don't have to have any black friends. Okay? They, they ride away. It's really interesting to me how some young people or some people in general you know, like you can have white friends in college, you know, and y'all drink beer and y'all smoke and y'all do all kinds of stuff together, you know. And then when their family get tired of, or when they get tired of hanging out with you because the family done told them, look, you finish this and we'll do this and then you'll go work at Uncle Mickey's law firm, okay. And then they cut their hair down, they stop wearing the... Uh, fake dreads, fake locks, um, and they become just almost unrecognizable. They become just what their parents were. And all the stuff that you thought they were rolling and rocking with you with as far as equality is concerned, they're light years away from it. See, they, and so they always have the option to go in and out of both worlds, whereas, you know, we don't have that option. 
I started to say your black ass. But we don't have that option. And I, I find it insulting that Phil Jackson would say something like this, um, have a problem with uh, social comments on T-shirts. Jackson seemed to be discussing the NBA allowing uh, the players to wear these messages on their backs um, and on their jersey. He went on to explain that he felt the league was catering to a certain audience, which turned fans off who wanted politics out of sports. You know, this is just like an evil white man, white master. I mean... They want you to play under any circ. I don't give a damn if we killing your mama, if we killing your daddy, if we killing your little brother. Don't say nothing. Shut up and put the ball in the hoop, nigga. That's the mindset. Put the ball in the hoop or throw the ball through the goalpost. They even had slogans on the floor, on the baseline, Jackson continued when asked what turned him off. It was catering. It was trying to cater to an audience or trying to bring a certain audience into play. And they didn't know it was turning other people off. People want to see sports as non-political. Yeah, that's why the greatest sports the athlete we ever had was Muhammad Ali. And he would have kicked your ass. We've had a lot of different types of players that have gone on to be. Uh, Bill Bradley, of course, was a senator who never did anything to change the culture and the uh, condition of black people. Uh, uh, baseball players have been representatives of senators, but their politics stay out of the game. It doesn't mean, need to be there. Well, I would imagine until you start seeing white people shot, shot down in the streets the way we are, then your uh, comment and your opinion is relevant. Right now, it's just relevant to you and your little ratchet-ass grandkids that y'all sit up there and make fun of our misery. To hell with you, uh, Phil Jackson. To hell with you. Again, when people show you who they are, believe them. And I'm here to tell you I concur with... Uh, Scotty Pippen said, Phil Jackson is a racist. It's just plain and simple. Take it or leave it alone. Phil Jackson, the great Phil Jackson, is a racist. Tell me what y'all think and tell me what you think about his comments, okay? You think I'm raging? You think I'm stretching? I want to know. Really, honestly. So, I I I'll see you in the next video.